all of us like to play with a ball yes so i've got a ball which shows us the different numbers so you can learn to kick it or throw the ball or you can also learn to read the numbers that is on this ball so we see number 8 we see number 8 we see number 9 we see number 3 we see number 7 we see number 1 and then we find some more oh here there is number 5 so we can use this ball to identify the numbers so all of you like to play with this ball yes so next we are going to see counting in twos so counting in twos we are going to see from 0 to 20 so we'll start with 0 counting in twos the next number will be number 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 now if I give you some beads to count and if I'm going to take one at a time and count it is going to take a lot of time whereas if I tell you okay count in twos you will count two beads at a time and it will move faster so we will take two four six eight ten so counting in twos is faster isn't it children yes so we have already seen the numbers from 2 to 50 so we have 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 30 32 34 36 38 40 42 44 46 48 50 so you can move on to numbers till 100 that is 52 54 and so on so next we are going to see the clock we all have a clock at home don't we children so why do we use the clock yes we use a clock to see the time it tells us what is the time so what time do we go to school it is eight o'clock so when we see the time and it shows eight o'clock we come out of our house to go to school and when it is ten o'clock in the night mummy tells us it is time to go to bed so how does she knows it is 10 o'clock yes it is by looking at the clock so we have different shapes of clocks in our house so I'm going to show you one different clock yeah can someone tell me what shape is this clock yes it is the sunflower have you seen a sunflower yes the sunflower always looks towards the sun so this is the shape of a sunflower so I have done a clock in the shape of the sunflower so so let me tell you what are the what are all the things that we find on a clock so we have numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so on the clock we have numbers from 1 to 12 and we have the two handles on the clock one is the small handle it is the small handle
and the other is the big handle. So these two handles show us the hour and the minute. So we are able to say what time is it. So this is the small handle. This is the long handle or the big handle. So the small handle shows us the R. And this is the, the big handle is the minute handle. So the, the small handle is the R handle. So if you see this clock, you will be able to understand. So these are the two handles, the small handle and the big handle or the long handle. So the small handle shows us the hours and the big handle shows us the minute. So when you see, it is pointing to number 3. So the small handle points to number 3 and the big handle points to number 12. So we will draw the clock on the board and I will tell you how to see the time. Are you ready to do this activity with me? So I am going to draw a square clock, a clock in the shape of a square. So we have numbers. So we start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So we have all the numbers mar marked on a clock. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these are the 12 numbers that are found on a clock. And we have the two handles. That is the small handle and the long handle. So the small handle points to number 12 and the long handle points to 1. So these are the numbers on a clock. So when you start learning counting in fives, you will learn how to see the time on the clock. So if you have a clock at home, you can look at it more closely. So have you seen this? Yeah, this is the clock. These are the numbers on the clock.